Hello everybody and welcome to part 4 of my Stellaris Roman Utopia Let's Play. So in the last episode we encountered our first alien race, our first sentient alien race, and the vote of the episode was what the hell should we do with these people. They're called the Tarathian League, they're to our north, and basically the vote tapped out at about 65% saying that we should go to war. Um, it was either go to war or do nothing or non-aggression pact I think. Um, so about 65% said we're going to war. So we talked about it in the Discord. We've got a new Discord server up for the uh, any senators that want to join us for debates behind the scenes. Um, and it's going really well. And basically, I'll be posting in there after each episode uh, some extra stuff before the videos even go up. Uh, you're not going to miss out on anything, don't worry. But And I still encourage you to comment. Please do comment. I've seen 100 comments on that last video, and the views have gone up because of it. And I've read through almost all of them, just quite a lot. Um, but the comments are where I look to first, and then the Discord is really just for discussions around, you know, a bit more depth into it and a bit of a back and forth with me as well. Um, and about future things as well. We were kind of talking about robotics and, and slavery and things like that. Um, so it's a really cool place to be. I've actually got two consuls uh, elected in place, and essentially um, we're going to, every week we're going to re-elect them and re-elect new consuls and things like that and use some of the people in the Discord or in the YouTube section to be admirals and things like that to command different fleets in within the campaign. Um, but it is a really fun place to, to hang out, even just to chat with friends and stuff. It's, it's quite cool. Uh, so I really, I've never used Discord before, but it's awesome. All right, without more dilly-dallying, we gotta want to be quick. I want to keep episodes to about 40 minutes in future. It makes them quicker to upload and just easier to consume for you guys. We got a few things that we need to deal with. Um, I'm going to actually let time play and just talk while I do it. So we've got unrest down at Arminium. So what we're going to need to do here is essentially get a couple defense armies. Um, unrest is basically being caused because every single pop we have right now is enslaved. Um, which is not helping. That just happens to be the way it is because we've got a lot of food and minerals on this planet. Um, so yeah, having any kind of unrest is obviously bad. Uh, the more you have, the, higher, the faster it can kind of go up. So you want to keep it at zero. If you have 10 unrest, it'll slowly start to build. Uh, through different events and things like that. You can get um, slave processing facilities in order to kind of quell that a bit, to calm the slaves down, <laughs> essentially. I don't know what goes on in those buildings now thinking about it, um, but that's what you can do. Some people were worried a little bit about our energy supply. Don't worry about it. Energy is going to be totally fine. Um, we've got plenty. Something I am worried about, however, is down here. We're very close to this fallen empire and I don't like that I want to stay as far away from them as possible so I'm gonna pop a frontier outpost in Saruta and delete and remove disband this frontier outpost because it's just gonna expand and expand as our borders uh, grow and we get different technologies and if our, if we even take uh, an inch out of their border they're gonna they're gonna lose their shit and go to war with us so we don't want that um, so basically because we voted for war complete. Because 65% of you have said, let's go for war, and we discussed it in the Senate, um, that's what we're going to do. Now, whether or not we're going to get to that immediately in this episode, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. We want a fleet strength of about 200, or 2,000, Tile blocker clear. at least, before we do it. Um, right, let's pop down Frontier Outpost there. Because, basically, they're going to have space stations, they're going to have a bunch of different stuff, and they're probably going to be growing as we're growing. Uh, so we need to just kind of stay ahead of the game, and stay ahead of them. Now, what else do we need here? We've got unemployment here. Um, we could build energy here. We've got a new contact. We reached a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that called themselves the Galactic Athelid Republic. You're speaking to the Galactic Athelid Republic, Chancellor 2C is our elected representative, but in truth all citizens have a voice in our government. We strive to better ourselves through technology, a desire we do not expect primitive aliens such as yourselves to understand. Well fuck you then, right? You're a direct democracy and you're slaving despots. They're slave societies that rely on military expansion to secure a steady supply of slaves for their mines and farms. Damn, son. See, this is the thing. I love getting the votes from you guys, but I'm five minutes into this and everything changes almost. Border range plus 30%, rivalry influence gain 30%. Okay. Emperor, well, yeah, we'll fight for our right to exist. You just kind of almost threatened us with that one a little bit, so that's what we're going to say to you, mister. Let's see what they actually are. They are superior. 
Okay, well, there's this, I think the AI is kind of just a little bit superior to us right now. They're gaining on me. These, these guys actually have a superior fleet. Okay, but we'll catch up. Don't worry. Um, we'll be fine. Right, let's move this guy here. Build hydroponic farm. And then this planet should be able to start growing now. Got actually a tiny bit of unrest here. Because he's probably a slave. Yeah. That's okay, though. <laughs> okay, I want to just make sure every time I look at this, I'm just looking to see is every single planet doing something? Is every constructor ship doing something? Because uh, they should be. Okay. Things are going okay. So we can leave this frontier outpost in place just for a little while longer. And then decide what to do. Now, while we're waiting for time to pass... Oh my god. Unrest. Slaves rally on Arminium. Clandestine slave meetings at night raise levels of defiance towards superiors and missing goods can only mean one thing. The slaves in Arminium are radicali radicalizing, spreading dissent and discord, discord among their peers and fear to the rest of the population. Whatever they're up to can't be good. Fuck. We got two armies and it just went straight back up. Right, what we need to do then is just take some slaves off things. What are we on for food? Okay, just one. I don't care if you're unemployed. It's better than being a slave. And we'll get you to get energy or something anyway. Alright. Unrest. This will expire in 7,200 days. Damn. That is going to be there for a long time. And we need to get it down to zero to ever actually solve that problem. Research complete. Anomaly found. A large amount of ship debris can be found in orbit around this planet, possibly the remnants of some kind of massive fleet action. Okay, let's research that, please. Constructor here can be building more and more all the time. Uh, we've got the tile blockers thing done here. Naval capacity increase if we're going to be going to war, then yes. What does this do? No. Okay. Alright. That's a bit of a dire situation on Arminium, but it's okay. If we have a slave uprising, we'll quell it. But I'm sure that won't. I'm sure that's not going to happen. Alright, the planets are growing. Now, I wanted to read out some of the comments. Um, Caesar Roma 25 said, Senators, we have our first se we've seen our first true enemy, the Tarathian League. They have blocked expansion north of our empire. They must think themselves brave or foolish. However, we conscript fathers must show the terror or show the error of their ways, and there can only be one decision, one answer to this. Tarathia at Delenda A. Uh, Tarathia must be destroyed. So he got a plenty of upvotes. He goes into more detail about why we should do this and how we should show the galaxy how strong we are by removing our first enemy to our north. And we will do that. Uh, so signs of battle. There is clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close orbit of Cosmalian one at Research some point complete. at some point in the last 5,000 years the surface on, on one side of the planet is pockmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts and scans from the Ptolemy have picked up several hulks on the ground though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition the fact that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design Antonia Polis is Antiana Polis is preparing an expedition to sift through these de uh, derelict hulls for any valuable technologies situation log updated I would like her to do that <laughs> and then do the rest of the system. Okay, cool. Terra could be doing something. Comet sighted. Um, this gives everyone happiness. That's good. Afterburners. Uh, so, we're going to go with uh, destroyers. Spaceport level 3. Hopefully we can build them. Construction complete. As we're preparing for war. So it is going to take a while to get ready to the war state. War to get the war effort ready. But it shouldn't be too long. What's this guy doing? Building his frontier outpost. That's good. And constructor ships everywhere are doing something. Right. Our towns aren't doing something everywhere, though. Which we want to fix. The Arminium could be definitely doing a lot more. Let's get these guys working on energy and uh, research. You only need to do one at a time, though. 
Often a lot of people like build multiple buildings on one planet, but it obviously there's a big queue of when those things are going to get built. So it's really best to just do one at a time if you're low on minerals, like I am. Uh, energy storage capacity. Uh, yes, I want that. This will also give us 15% energy credits on that planet when you build one. So we want that. The Lucretius is doing nothing now. Let's find out what was going on here. A Mount Graveyard Expedition. Okay. Who's this? Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't realize they were so close together. Um, well, let's survey this system and then survey this one. Okay, cool. Everything's going just fine. Our fleet is pretty steady. We're not going to do any more changes to it. The Galactic Athelid Republic. That is a bit of a worry. Now, some people were asking, can we go left or right on these spirals? And we can, I think. If we build maybe there or there a wormhole, I reckon a wormhole here will complete. allow us to jump to this system. Um, this one, maybe not. Maybe, though, if we build a Bernard Star or Bichthal. Oh, no, Bichthal, we have one. So, yeah, maybe... Mm, I don't know. I don't think we can actually get across on the left. But on the right, we definitely can. Right, Terra needs a new thing. Um, let's clear this tile. Yeah. Okay. Now, our minerals are picking up, which is good. Good news. Now we can start building up here at Inigor. Construction complete. Construction at Eretium is finished. Yeah, we can't even do anything anyway. We're waiting for that pop to, to come of age. All right. Um, so yeah, so some of the debates we were having in the comments. Special project. Oh complete. God, I can never talk to you guys. It's just there's something going on all the time. The team under science officer Antiana Pullis has finished their expedition on Cosmillion 1, returned to the Ptolemy. Sadly, the wrecked ship, starships on the surface are too badly damaged to recover any useful technologies. That sucks. She got 200 experience and we can get engineering though. These vessels are clearly very advanced, however, and, however, and we could gain valuable engineering insights if we analyze them the way they were designed. We should consider the, uh, the construction of a permanent science outpost in orbit. Okay, not a bad job. You did the best you could. We are never going to be building there. Complete. Oh, look, there was actually a habitable world down here. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. We just can't colonize that close to a fallen empire. It's insane. Construction is complete here. Let's build energy for when this pop eventually comes in. Terra is now completely built up for now. Governor trait adaptable. It's good to see. Eratium. They've got a little bit of unrest, which has me slightly worried, but I'm sure they'll be fine. This pop is just about to grow. And once she is done, we can start clearing complete. one of these tiles. Uh, we'll clear this one first. Survey complete. Uh, through our surveys of the habitable world surveys... Oh, yeah. Okay. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific communities had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Terra. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid the continued search of strange life forms. This is excellent. Huge society research and 500 energy credits. Awesome. And now energy is gaining. Terra Nova could be getting something built on it. Let's also build energy here. Now, I saw some people in the comments also talking about enslaving robots. Now, you don't have to enslave robots. They're just robots. They are your slave. Um, now, we could we could do that. Construction um, complete. We could start researching them and see how it goes. Which will be pretty interesting, um, to say the least. Hang on, I'm just thinking, what do we need to... Probably going to go with a bit of research. Okay, everything's building one thing, which is good. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit unsure. Of course, with robots, you have to worry about the long-term effects. Uh, and robots do cost energy in the short term. you got to build them and maintain them. People don't require energy. They just want to be happy. System survey complete. Let's build a mining station there. And what do we have here? A scientist with a skill of at least three or more. Let's get the Ptolemy to research this. This is System survey an alien complete. artifact. It's suspected of relaying information through 
aerosolized aromatic compounds. Research complete. Research complete. Naval capacity can now get even more. Uh, resettlement cost, crew quarters. Ooh, a crew quarters to the engineering bay. Gonna actually go with... Yeah, let's go with the crew quarters. It'll probably lead to more military things, which is good. Now that we've got a slight surplus in Tile blocker minerals, we'll build another ship. Slowly increasing our fleet. So I hope I'm not going too quick. I'm, I'm, you're probably thinking I'm going really slow, actually. I'm flying around just trying complete. to get everything doing something. Construction complete. So we can get to the meat and potatoes of this, uh, hopefully, this part, which is maybe declaring war or just getting just to the point of where we're ready. Mass extinction of a chilly planet. The planet of interest in this system is covered in layer upon layer. Where is this? Oh, it's just somewhere here. Layer upon layer of denses, dense ices of varying composition. Apparently, it was once home to more varied and pleasant biomes. Special projects been issued. Situation to log investigate. updated. There it is. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Whoa. Hang on. What is this? That music has gone very loud, isn't it? A pristine jewel. We'll have to survey it. Oh, it's a Gaia complete. world. An ideal world for us. Science Tully Scipio has died at the age of 77. Lucretius has been left abandoned. Um, so we'll have to get a new one. <laughs> now this is a bug I had um, where the next three scientists have no names. Uh, this is because of the beta update changed something to do with my naming mod. But the ones after this will have names. So we'll just have to come up with one. Um, so let's see what we need. Research speed, leader experience. Okay, we'll go with leader experience. This is a dude, right? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, where can I give him a name? Can I not give him a name? Oh man, that would suck if I couldn't give him a name. Yeah, I don't think I can. Unfortunately, three people we're gonna have it just have no name, which actually does actually quite suck, but it, honestly, it's not my fault. It's just the, the game updated into this beta and it did something to the naming lists. And for some reason, the next three leaders um, are going to have no names. Yeah, that, it really does suck. What I can do, I think, is just get this leader and disband them. And then you can see this guy's got a name now. And that's actually something I want. So let's get this person. We'll see if we can just I don't know if we can get rid of this scientist can we construction complete okay so this person is on this let's go leaders no miss miss no name mr. no name okay he's been fired he's gone and uh, we can get this guy to do it instead okay sorry about that I'll have to I'll maybe do that next in the, in the intermission between episodes next time just so um I don't break the immersion too much anymore. Uh, okay, right, so we've got Arrhenius Dolabella. That's a cool name. And he's got anomaly research speed increase, which is awesome, so that will actually help. Uh, he's going to need more skills, though, before he can do anything. Okay, back to the game. Titus Scipio, what a great man. 77. He had paced uh, Pullis in the end, but um, she's much younger. She's only 63. She's She'll hit five stars. Ah, we've got new traditions available. So, we've got the last one available to get, which was Frontier Outpost Upkeep Reduced. Oh, and our Frontier Outpost completed here, which looks lovely. Um, reduced by 50%. So, we'll do that. And this is unlocked now. And, and Well, first of all, we've got the Finisher Effect, which gives us two extra core sector systems. So, we don't need to build sector control just yet. And then in here, we can get different Ascension perks. So Interstellar Dominion, 25% border range, 10% research speed, extra unity output, extra ethics attraction, clears all the tile blockers. We've actually got quite a lot. Just completely removes the cost to tile blockers. Wow. And that's all planets going forward. That's a pretty good one, guys. I'm kind of excited about that. Core sector systems plus five. We could have 10 under our direct control. Oh, that's really good as well. I feel like we don't need that for a while, though. Are these all the perks? Yeah, these are all the perks. So we could get one of these again if we do want. Um, I don't think we need the border range. Oh, we definitely shouldn't get it straight away. I need to get rid of that. Um, this thing. 
quickly. Because look at that. Look how close we are now. If we got 20% border range, 25%, we would definitely be encroaching on them. Um, do we need border range? Right now, no. Gonna say no. Gonna go with the tile blocker one. We'll spend a lot of energy and minerals on clearing tiles. And this will remove that cost. So mastery of nature. Although we mastered the nature of our homeworld long ago, the alien biomes we've since encountered present new challenges. They too shall be overcome. Boom. Unlocks all tile blocker research. Okay, that's unfortunate because we spent a long time researching all the different tile blockers. Um, let's, it's time to remove this. And we're just going to stay the fuck away from that fallen empire. It's a lot of research sacrifice we just complete. gave in on, but it has to be done. Um, right, so let's gain some more minerals here. Why not? What? Oh, no. It's just outside. Okay. No big deal. Okay. Construction complete. Right, everyone's building again, and we need to start building on ho at home. We can't build there yet. There's no point. Here we can build. Everyone has employment. So removing these, it's just free. That's amazing. It just takes time to clear them. Oh, that's so good. Okay. That is fantastic. <laughs> Central perks for the win. Um, great. Well, now we can just start clearing some of these and pop these unemployed dudes on at least some some tiles that have some stuff going on. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Okay, great. Anomaly found. Uh, a cursory scan of the planet's surface reveals a weak signal pulsing into the darkness of space. Leave it be for now. You're only a level one, son. Um, so, I mentioned that we have consoles in the Special project Discord, complete. and one of them is going to be... I should name them. I might have to just quickly look up their name. Uh, I know them. I just don't want to get it wrong. We've got... I'll go from, from memory. Sorry if I get it wrong. But we've got... Consul Haroldus Britannicus and Consul Sergius Gladius. Um, both of them are consuls, and Sergius Gladius will be the next person to lead our fleet. Um, so once Septelius Crusello, who's 70, passes away, Senator, um, and now Consul Gladius, will take the reins, which is quite a fitting name, Gladius, uh, to take the reins and be the first to go to war. So um, the box is indeed a document of a sort. Science officer Antiana Polis admits that they have been hoping for a historical record of some other kind of codex, significant to whatever culture left behind it, but they are disappointed. The true nature of the aromatic box seems to be a collection of fairly short narratives, which, going by the rapid changes in odor towards the end of each sequence, are intended to surprise or be interpret interpreted as comedic. The techniques used to store and reproduce specific smells in is of some interest, but the tales, the tales it tells are not. The crew of the Ptolemy are left with an uncomfortable feeling that they have unwittingly become intimately familiar with what certain cashless byproducts of alien digestion smell like. However, Antiana Polis is unwilling to speculate as to why the box was dumped on the, this frozen hellscape of a planet. So, it's essentially a fart in a box. <laughs> but, you know, 300 society research. We'll take it. And she's now level 5. The things you gotta do. Oh, Gargantua. Let's... Why? Why can't we go there? Oh, we don't have the border reach. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Let's build a frontier outpost here. And then we can go to Gargantua and have a look at the infinity machine. I don't know why it's not there anymore. We know it's there. That's weird. Um, okay, everything's pretty good everywhere. And we're growing pretty quick. Look how much, like, now we're starting to really gain. Um, so what we can do now is start building up that fleet. So we want to get the spaceport level 2 upgrade. Um, which I believe we said was actually going to take place on Terra Nova. Terra Nova is set to be our military hub. So let's build, well, we don't need to start building just yet. Construction complete. So tile blockers are being completed all over the place. Which is awesome, because we can just keep doing that while our pops are growing. Uh, we'll focus on 
physics. We don't have that much physics going on right now. Get these people to sit on tiles that are being Tile used. Blocker, Let's have a look at the planet summary. Okay, unrest is 25%. Faction founded. A new faction has recently been gaining tr uh, traction in the internal political landscape of the Roman Empire, led by Emperor Gaius Julius Caesar 23. Oh yeah, he's a leader. They call themselves the National Solvency Con Coalition. Their members lobby for a national focus of, on financial growth and stability. Keeping at least 3,000 stored at times will please the national solvency. Controlling at least one strategic resource will please them. Oh, so it tells you which conditions you've fulfilled and which ones you haven't. So red is annoying to them. They don't like this because adopting any traditions emphasizing prosperity will please them. We haven't done that. Okay, I get this. So we can actually try to work to uh, please all factions. That's kind of cool. These guys only have two. They don't have any issues, really. These guys we could help. Aggressive diplomacy. They will like that. Subjugation. They'll love that. They're going to love our war. The Whetstone Initiative. That's that's awesome. I didn't... It's, this game... This game is so fucking good. Is it just me or am I crazy? Is this game not like one of the best games ever? <laughs> oh. Uvzant Confederacy and the Tarathian League have entered into a non-aggression pact with each other. Dangerous. And they've colonized a new region. <sighs> get the feeling we're behind all the time clear. there's nothing more we can research we've researched everything she can head down here actually go for this anomaly please construction complete construction complete although I'm very pleased to see that we're growing our minerals is well above what I can even spend most of the time and a red team is going to be this mineral godsend of a planet but we're probably gonna have unrest there if we don't like spread it out a bit if we just got all minerals big slave planet yeah. we're gonna need like a slave processing facility and we don't have one that's something we're gonna have to research or just something that gives happiness in general research complete system survey complete tile blocker cleared Okay, energy storage capacity has been increased. Uh, that's good. Survey speed. We're going to go with planetary. I mean, we've already got access to shields. So this must be shields level 2, right? Yeah. Cool. Whoa. Okay, a lot of research stations to be built over there. Research complete. Ah, now we can go to Gargantua. This guy can research it. This noob. Level 1 noob. Right, there's a few more. Oh, another research has been complete. Crew quarters and an engineering bay. Leader lifespan, 10 years. That's pretty good. Cheaper war demands. Um, we'll go with... We'll go with the leader, leader lifespan because that leads to different things. Even though it's going to be a long time before we actually get make get to make use of it. All right. Construction complete. Construction complete on Terra Nova. I know it's just another episode of just building up a bit, but hopefully we'll get to, well, at least assess the situation a bit better toward the end. But we do have to pull ourselves carefully into this economy, and I'm taking my time with it. I keep pausing when I'm building just to make sure I'm not wasting time just staring at something. Okay. These can all be built up. Got a new guy coming in there. What do we want? We could probably deal with we could probably get more slaves on this planet if we wanted to. Go with energy though. Anywhere there's energy like that is a pretty good thing. And then as well as that, seeing as this has a lot of energy, we'll go with the newly uh, unlocked energy Tile grid. Which gives 10% energy modification to all things in this area. Cool. All tile blockers are almost cleared from this area. It's a lovely flat planet. We're still clearing these ones. Because of that tile blocker thing, that's why I want to have 10 planets directly under our control. I just feel like we can do a lot more with that. These constructor ships are waiting for something to do. Please go here and build everything you can. Damn, 270. 
Tile blocker cleared. Special project complete. So, mass extinction, frozen. An unnatural shift in the atmosphere's chemical makeup resulted in the slow but irreversible irreversible onset of an ice age, one that began before the formation of the Roman Empire and is likely to persist long after our passing. Whoa. Um, the exact cause remains unknown, but probable explanations include failed terraforming attempts or even interplanetary terrorism. Some of the radical elements within the scientific community Oh, some of the more radical elements within the scientific community on Terra suggest that the dramatic climate shift may have been brought on by the unchecked emission of gaseous industrial byproduct into the atmosphere. This view is confined to the, to the scientific fringe as it is unlikely that any race intelligent enough to achieve full industrialization would be stupid enough to accidentally wipe themselves out. Har har har. The Infinity Equation. As the Lucretius approaches the Gargantua black hole, they find that they are not alone. Hang on. As Lucretius approaches the Gargantua black hole, they find that they are not alone. At the edge of the event horizon, it soars, reflecting light from the stars being drawn into the dark, gaping hole. A gigantic construction in the shape of a perfect sphere. We cannot pick up any signals from it, nor does anything we send make it respond. It simply sits at the edge of the abyss, waiting. Situation log updated. It's just like interstellar like right now. Oh, we must have got some message. The Leviathans. News across the uh, news of a giant being seen in the dark void of space is spreading across the Empire like a plague. There's concern and optimistic wonder, but most what mostly bring uh, but mostly brings an existential dread to the populace. Historical documents will record this day as one of tremendous importance. Holy shit! That guy just went into the black hole. But, <laughs> okay. Okay. Our first Leviathan has been discovered. Tile blocker cleared. System survey complete. Come on, hurry up and grow faster. Oh yeah, we can enact an edict to increase the uh, speed of how our fleets are built. By the way, spaceport on Terra Nova. Let's build uh, Corvette assembly yards and also a crew quarters. Observatory, what does that do? Oh, really? Okay. Increases all the scientific output on a planet. There's a lot on this one, so that'd be good to have actually. All right. Cretius, there's not much more they can do. Uh, well, we can actually survey this planet. See if there's anything going on there. Or system, I should say. I don't know how we can talk to this guy. Do we just... Does it just come up eventually? I think it just comes up eventually. Oh, wait. This, isn't it? Huh. Okay, I think we have to wait. Still need a fleet of 2,000 to even consider taking out these guys. There better be something good in there. Alright, let's speed things up again. Our next pop is almost ready to pop. Construction complete. Construction complete of what? Mining station. Construction complete. Construction complete. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh shit, there was... Oh yeah, this other planet, I remember. Has she researched her thing? Apparently. Um, right, what now? Da, 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 da. There's nothing really for the scientists to do. We don't have that assist research technology, which basically lets them just... Basically just chill on a planet and give extra science output. Um, we might end up building a frontier outpost out here, in the, or not a frontier outpost, but a, a wormhole letting us jump over there. And I'm sure we'll eventually get a frontier outpost here and just get the rest of this territory. 
But yeah, there's not much else to do apart from just keep building up the fleet. And we'll speed time up to let things go by a little bit quicker. This fleet is growing quite nicely. Alright, we've got about 10 more minutes to go, I think, for this for the end of this episode. So I'm guessing we're not going to go into full-blown war in this episode. And there is things to think about now that they are... They're equivalent to us again. They used to be superior. Their technology is inferior. Okay, we've got good research going on. What about these guys? Their fleet is equivalent. They're all equivalent in everything now. And these? This fleet is still superior, but their technology is inferior. So we can wipe them out, hopefully, with... Oh, look at that. <gasps> Colonizable planet. That's what I want to see. All right, we're going to have to go for this one for sure. Complete. In fact, let's get look to build one ASAP. Incoming transmission. Hello. Um, that's nice and all, but no. It's a decent amount of energy credits. But we don't need it. So I'm going to say no. Who was that anyway? There was these guys. They want, they want Construction stuff complete. that basically helps kill people. So I'm going to say no. <laughs> that's our resource. Thank you very much. Construction complete. Ooh, our borders just expanded a little bit anyway. Okay. Um. <sighs> right, let's see how the planets are doing again. Again, we've got more... I'm trying to think, how do I sort this fucking slavery out? Edicts. Propaganda broadcasts. Surely that has to work, right? Yeah. That did work. Okay. Okay. Propaganda broadcasts that will help ease their pain, so to speak. Construction complete. <laughs> Can we just take the, like, li Anomaly found. Uh, you know, there's, if they're going to be on that tile, they're going to be slaves, apparently. Uh, our first finds on Maragdus 5 point towards more interesting discoveries. Okay. Let's have a look at this planet, see how good it is. Uh, that's all right. I mean, it's pretty small. But it's better than nothing. It should probably help, cl it'll help close the gap of territory up here. And then we can even disband this frontier outpost eventually. Research complete. More research? Uh, yes. That's what I want. Um, okay, whoa. Oh no. So, we can get a new resource, which gives energy weapon damage. The next level of spaceport, that'll take forever. Um, gonna go with... Plasma thrusters. Again, we're going to combat focus. Their fleets are superior, but our technology is superior, so we can beat their fleets that are bigger, hopefully. Located in a remote part of Magadus 5, the science team of the Lucretius has found an out-of-place out place metallic tablet. It contains basic information about a dist distant system using illustrations in what appears to be a periodic table. Science officer Aurinius Dolabella um, has been able to use the information to deduce the location and potential resources of the system. Nice. Oh, cool. So it's like just automatic exploration of this one. Hmm, that's where it came from. That's pretty cool. All right, we've got plenty of minerals now. Now's time for the fleet to start building. And build it shall over at Terra Nova. And it'll build faster because we've got um, uh, Corvette assembly yards. And here, yeah, we've got a solar panel network there. Tile blocker cleared. Now, we're going to move the fleet. The fleet will move to Terra Nova. Okay, fleets are going to move to Terra Nova where we'll get a crew quarters built in place and it'll reduce the energy of keep of having a fleet in the air or in the space. <laughs> um, in fact, we can then go found. level 3 
and build destroyers. Significant scarring on the surface of this world and a pattern that can't be natural. Let's find out what it is. So we're, we're going to design our destroyers probably and then end the episode as our fleet gets stronger. We've still got 10 more slots basically for fleets to be built. And the more spaceports we build, the more we can, the more ships we can build. Someone used a mining laser from an orbit, from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult, difficult life of an alien mercenary. I think we had that one before. Ooh, 1k. Okay, things are happening. This fleet, th oh, we're getting a crew quarters, which will allow our energy to just fly up even more. Again, we just need more minerals. Minerals, minerals, minerals. But the problem is we keep getting unrest from all these pups. We really need to find out what that slave processing facility is. That would help a lot. Is there anything I could do to increase minerals on these planets? No, doesn't seem like it. Not too much else to do, is there? We've got 300 minerals now, so we can design our destroyers and add them to the fleet. Um, let's get a constructor ship to build a wormhole here, and we can maybe hop across. Uh, we can maybe hop across this way and just check out what's going on, and then we can also. Uh, no, we still can't build anything in that place yet. Tile block right. cleared. Just keep building up our um, physics and just our research in general. Keep making people smart. Construction complete. Building all the time. Ah, here we go. The constant calculator. We picked up a signal. It originates from the titanic meta metallic sphere we encountered earlier. Previously impervious, uh, previously impervious to contact attempts, it now sends out a rhythmic pulse of radio waves pointed towards the black hole it orbits. What it is doing beyond any of our is beyond any of our staff, but this signal might have created an opening into the sphere for our scientists to exploit. It's fascinating. Situation log updated. Scientists of skill three or higher. There's only one woman for the job. How old is she? Sixty-seven. Yeah, she'll do it. She'll be great. Sending out radio signals pointed at the black hole. Scary stuff. Get this guy, this new bu new guy, to head down to Murga, where he will jump across and start exploring out this way. Um, considering that we have, we can now design our destroyers. Whether or not we need point defenses or not is up to debate, up for debate. I'm gonna say no. That's taking a complete gamble that they have no projectile kind of weapons that they use mass drivers instead instead of nukes or torpedoes but who knows we can always just switch it when we find out gonna go with a large <laughs> artillery bow cleared. bow and then gunship stern <laughs> on this we will place actually is there anything we can place torpedoes with no okay we'll go with our fusion missiles. So we're launching massive fusion missiles from both sides. As big as we can. Got some deflectors. Research complete. And some afterburners. Okay, we'll go with armor as well. That helped, but didn't help enough. Uh... Alright, that's the best we can do. So this will be our... Hmm, I don't know what I call the other ones. Oh yeah, they're called Velites, weren't they? Um, 
this ship is more like a... I don't know. Let's just call it Hastati for now. Right, and we can now build Hastati as soon as this is done, which is almost about to be done. Construction complete. Wormhole generation rate. That's gonna. That's really good, actually. Just to increase the speed, we can fly around the place. And in fact, did we just? I can't. I can't remember what we just got. But did we just get better shields? We did. Changes everything. Um. Okay, then the Hastati that we just built. Our energy is lacking though for these kind of shields. Alright, not too bad. And then we can change as well what we've got going on with our Velites class. So we'll go improve deflectors. Um, oh yeah, an afterburners. Okay. Uh, which means that we need more better fusion reactors. Ah, oh, shit. Afterburners seem to take a lot of energy, don't they? Focusing up on armor, or on shields more than armor, hoping that they have energy weapons. Construction complete. Those are our torpedo ones, and then our NVIDIA class, we'll try to match that as close as we can. Damn, I keep pressing the wrong thing. There we go. Right, that's done. Uh, our fleet is nearly approaching 2k, which is good. Let's upgrade. And here we can just start building onto them. Oh, it's actually very expensive. That that destroyer is 267, each destroyer. Holy Research shit. Complete. And we've just hit our Ships food upgraded. surplus, which is awesome. Now hopefully these planets will start even growing even faster. Blocker, yeah, we'll leave there, th them there for now. New research, leader lifespan, that's awesome. Heritage site, yes. Want to increase the amount of unity we're getting to speed that up. Um, and that might have to be it. We're getting, I don't want to run over on this episode. Um, and I know it's just another bit of a building up one, but we really need to be ready for when we go to war. We are going to go to war. That has already been voted on. Um... But yeah, I'm going to have to put another vote in because I want to know. Well, we need to rethink what we're going to do here. There's this, a bit of a triumvirate of nations here, and I don't know how they all relate to each other. Um, they are rival. Okay, so so you're clear. The Galactic Athelid Republic are rivaling these guys. Okay, so they don't like them. They don't like each other, I should say. They don't like each other. These two are, are um, non-aggression. So... And they don't, they don't really like us. These guys like us actually a decent amount. These don't. Ah. Okay. These two have a non-aggression. These two have a non-aggression. They don't like each other. And then we're just kind of out floating out doing nothing really. We haven't been able to really make a decision on who we should side with. So I'm a kind of a wait and see kind of guy. Um, that I'd rather wait and see see what happens. But we have voted for war, and war we shall have in the next episode, almost definitely. Because um, this fleet will be building up mega mega fast now. So the question is, I, I, I don't know if we'll have a vote. I think we'll just need you guys to tell me what you think should happen with these three nations. Should we still go to war with the Tarathian League? Should we try to use this as leverage to get them to like us and then fight... One of the ones that don't. Could they be an ally? You know? Could they be an ally? That's the question we got to ask ourselves. They like aliens. <laughs> and they have similar governments to us. But I don't know. And it might just be a temporary for the time being kind of thing, you know? 
We gotta think. Gotta think about it. Yeah, I tend to think that we should still go to war with them. Because how can we fight anyone else anyway? And we need to expand. So that's that's kind of where I fall down on it. Um, in the next episode, we're going to colonize this planet and keep building our fleet and getting ready to attack. The problem is um, that we need at least about 2,000 to 3,000 fleet power because, they, of course, they're going to have space stations that are, and possibly even military stations, that are going to have like at least 1,800 strength. If they combine that with a fleet, we're, into, we're in for a serious hard-hitting battle. Um, so, yeah. So that's it. If you want to go discuss it in length, please do so in the comments, or you can join our Discord to take it on further with the other people in the chat. It's about 35 people in there at the moment. If you want to earn yourself a position in the game, jump into the Discord, and if you're chatting actively enough, you might get elected to a position. I think Tribune of the Plebs is one I want, and um, maybe another one, kind of a military advisor. Uh, pristine senator kind of roles. So yeah, so that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Sorry if it was a little bit slower paced. Um, but yeah, I think that'll probably be the last slow paced one we're ever going to have. Um, just considering if we've got a big war on our hands. Or something's going to kick off pretty, pretty soon. It's such a shame these two inhabitable worlds are next to this. It's such a shame. Um, and we've actually just gained the ability to jump across here. So we can do that. So that's it's all to play for in the next episode and it'll be up tomorrow at the same time hopefully uh so yeah so thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one